Friends, what you're looking at here is the house of Peter. This is, uh, we're in Capernaum, known as the home of Jesus. And what you have here probably is four layers. You've got the modern Catholic church up here. This outside wall is the ruins of a Byzantine church built on another layer of a house church from the fourth century. Underneath that would, be, would have been the house of of Peter. Remember the stories that Jesus stayed with Peter. Jesus at one time healed Peter's mother-in-law and she cooked for them and cared for them. This was really the home base of, of operations for Jesus in the first century when he was in ministry here for three years here in the town of Capernaum. Many things, many wonderful things, many miracles happened during that time. We read in Mark chapter 2, one of the great miracles of Jesus. A few days later, Jesus again entered Capernaum, and the people heard that he had come. So many gathered that there was no room left, even outside the door, and so he preached the word to them. Not some other place, right here. Some men came, bringing with, him a, with them a paralytic, carried by four of them. Since they could not get to Jesus because of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof above Jesus, and digging through it, lowered the mat to the paralyzed man was, that the paralyzed man was lying on. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now some teachers of the law were sitting there thinking to themselves, Why does this fellow talk like that? He's blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God alone? Immediately Jesus knew in his spirit that this was what they were thinking in their hearts, and he said, Why are you thinking these things? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven, or... Get up, take up your mat, and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the paralytic, I tell you, get up, your, get up, take up your mat, and go home. He got up, took his mat, and walked out in full view of them all. This amazed everyone, and they praised God, saying, We've never seen anything like this. Not some other place, but right here. They were amazed. We've never seen anything like this. Jesus not only healed the paralytic's body, but he said, your sins are forgiven. Our Lord cares about us, about our bodies. He cares about our souls. Notice the first thing he gave attention to, though, is the soul of this man. Your sins are forgiven. We have healing in Jesus Christ, both in and out. May it be so for us all. Amen.